Today we're building a cool water ripple animation using Flutter. This ripple effect is perfect for interactive UIs, app backgrounds, or unique loading animations. We'll go beyond the basics by leveraging physics to make the ripples react naturally to user interaction. Let's kick it off by setting up a new project. First, create a new Flutter app. Once the app is created, open your main.dart file and set up a basic structure of material app. Now let's add some rippling magic. To simulate water ripples, we need to define a ripple model and use a custom painter to draw them. Add a new file called waterrippleanimation.dart and start there. First, define a ripple class. This class simply holds the properties of a single ripple. Center, the origin of the ripple. Radius, how far the ripple has spread. Alpha, controls transparency to simulate fading. Next, we need a custom painter to draw these ripples dynamically on the canvas. This class is the artist behind the magic, responsible for drawing those beautiful ripples on the screen. Inside the class, we have a field called ripples. This is a list that holds all the ripples that need to be drawn. We get this list passed into the constructor when we create a new ripple painter object. Now, the most important method in this class is the paint method. This is where the actual drawing happens. The paint method takes two arguments. Canvas is the canvas on which we will be drawing our ripples. Size tells us the size of the canvas. Inside the paint method, we first create a paint object. This object holds all the information about how we want to paint things on the canvas, like the color, stroke width, and style. We set the style of the paint to painting style.stroke. This means that we only want to draw the outline of the circles, not fill them in. Next, we iterate through the list of ripples. For each ripple in the list, we set the color of the paint object. We use the alpha value from the ripple to make the color transparent as the ripple gets bigger. We also set the stroke width of the paint to 2.0. This controls the thickness of the ripple's outline. Finally, we use the canvas.drawCircle method to draw a circle on the canvas. We provide the center of the circle from the ripple, the radius of the circle from the ripple, and the paint object that we just configured. And that's it. This loop iterates through all the ripples and draws them on the canvas. The shouldRepaint method tells Flutter whether the painter needs to repaint itself when the widget changes. In our case, we want to repaint whenever the ripple's list changes so we simply return true. So with this Ripple Painter class, we can take a list of ripples and paint them on the screen, creating that cool water ripple effect. Now let's create water ripple animation widget to include an interactive canvas where ripples respond to taps. First of all, we need an animation controller. This controls the speed and timing of our animation. A list of ripples. This list will store all the ripples that are currently visible on the screen. In the init state method, we initialize the animation controller. We set the vsync parameter to this because our state class mixes in single ticker provider state mix in, which allows us to provide a ticker for the controller. We also set the duration of the animation to two seconds. Finally, we add a listener to the controller. This listener will be called every time the animation updates and inside the listener, we call the update ripples method to update the appearance of the ripples. After setting up the controller, we call the repeat method to start the animation. In the dispose method, we dispose of the controller to prevent memory leaks. Now let's look at the update ripples method. This method is called whenever the animation updates. Inside this method, we iterate through each ripple in the ripples list and increase the radius of each ripple and decrease the alpha transparency of each ripple. We then remove any ripples from the list whose alpha value has dropped below zero. Next, we have the create ripple method. This method is called when the user taps the screen. It creates a new ripple object and adds it to the ripples list. Finally, in the build method, we construct the UI. We use a gesture detector widget to detect taps on the screen. When a tap occurs, we call the create ripple method to create a new ripple at the tap location. Inside the gesture detector, we use a custom paint widget to draw the ripples on the screen. The custom paint widget takes a painter object, which in this case is our ripple painter. And that's it we've successfully built a water ripple animation using Flutter. Now, when you tap anywhere on the screen, ripples will form at the tap location, expanding and fading gracefully. And there you have it, a beautifully advanced water ripple effect that responds dynamically to user interaction. This effect isn't just visually stunning, it's highly customizable, allowing you to add depth and immersion to your apps. Like what you see, 
you would probably like to watch other Flutter animation videos on this channel. Until next time, keep fluttering.